under sixes, Waratah's netball, so uh, lovely pleated red skirt with the, the white top, the high uh, socks with the red stripes on them, the, the lovely red ribbons to match. So um, quite the contrast to what I wear in rugby, but um, it was great. And I remember just going and wanting to meet up with friends that I didn't see, say, at school, and they were my netball friends, and just going and, and seeing them at trainings. I love the fact that my family supported it so much. So I had it was a big family experience. So for me, um, it was really re rewarding in that the family were part of it. Um, also because my neighbour was my coach, it was, it was a good... Um, experience to experience with my coach and, and and also just make new friends. Learning to interact with people that you know out of your comfort zone, people that you usually wouldn't mix with, it's, um, it's a great skill to have. So being able to interact with people of all types, all different backgrounds, um, you know, learning new things about new people that, you know, they come from different cultural backgrounds. I developed many um, skills. So for me, I developed um, to be dedicated. You know, if I said to my parents, I want to do little athletics, every Saturday they will dropping me and I was doing little athletics, regardless of how I felt. So for me, it gave me dedication. It also gave me motiv uh, motivation to want to try and better myself, whether it be at little athletics, when I'm trying to better the time that I got last week. Um, for me, it gave me confidence, you know, that I could, I, I had self-belief and self-worth in everything that I was doing. So for me, sport has given me so much more from the age of six when you don't even realise that you're developing these skills to an now a grown adult. Local clubs do a lot for, they build a community. They, they build um, an awareness of sport within the community and sport can actually blend and can actually um, combine a community. So we all have a common goal, a common worth, we're all achieving the same type of thing. So for me, I think sport is a great focus to try and build a community. You don't have to be a participant, but also I work in a program where we firmly believe that there is a sport for everyone. You know, it doesn't have to be the traditional sport where they play basketball, they play football. It could be taekwondo or extreme sports. So for me, um, a person has that choice. They don't have to go the traditional way. They can also go the alternative type of or, or modified type of sport. But for those that actually aren't that way inclined and don't like to get a sweat like I am right now and, and to get muddy and things like that, I think volunteering is a great avenue. Um, a lot of sport does not operate without volunteers, particularly in women in sport. Like we, we are heavily reliant on our coaches volunteering, um, our management, all sport administration, all being done via volunteers. So for me, I think there's an avenue for everyone if they're really passionate about sport. I think definitely bragging rights, right? You, you have the, the people that coached you in under sixes saying she's there because of me. And I think that's fine because I learned something from each coach that I've had and I've learned some skills that I've t I'll take through with me for the rest of my life. So for me, um, definitely there would be a um, self-satisfaction for each coach that's coached me, knowing that I'm at the level I am because they've given something to me.